everyone and welcome back to DMX Aesthetics Decor YouTube channel. My name is Danny. I am the owner of DMX Aesthetics Decor. I am also an interior designer. So a little background upon this YouTube channel, you will learn a lot about decor, whether that is revamping a room, whether that is just staging, either residential or commercial. I am also taking new clients, which I'm located in Texas. However, I do also assist with out-of-state clients, whether that's me traveling to you or doing virtual consultations with everything that needs to be done. Now, today we will just get a little bit into how to decorate a bookcase. Of course, everyone thinks that's easy. However, in order to make it a wow factor, whenever you come into a room, these are tips that you want to go ahead and follow. I don't, I know you guys cannot see it, but it's already revamped. And I'm just gonna basically list out everything that I did and where those products came from you guys in order for you to achieve this look if not this look just achieve a look that you know you would like for your ladder I'm sorry your bookcase now this is a ladder bookcase I know that I retrieved it from Wayfair probably back in 2019 when I first started doing decor however if you have a regular bookcase it's the rules still, uh, the rules and the tips still go for, you know, just a regular bookcase. But I have a ladder bookcase and it's also a DIY project of mine because when I purchased it from Wayfair, it was more of a smoke gray. So what I did was use my favorite um, canned spray. I don't have it with me right now, guys. But my favorite canned spray paint, um, from Rust Olim, I'm not sure if I'm saying Olim correctly. However, it is a metallic gold. So all I did was spray paint the full um, ladder bookcase a gold color. I love gold, guys. And I was kind of tired of the smoke gray feel. So let's go ahead and get into how this bookcase was staged. So we're gonna start with this white abstract. This white abstract vase, I know I purchased it from Home Goods. It was sometime this year that I purchased it from Home Goods. I actually went inside of the store and found this. I purchased two of them to be exact. So this, let me see if I have the price listed on the bottom. It was $24.99, guys, and it did come from Home Goods. So anytime that you are staging a bookcase, I always, always look at my wow factor being on top because if you walk into a room and you see a bookcase you're not as excited as you would be with decor sitting on a coffee table or maybe an ottoman so when you are staging your bookcase you want your wow factor to be at the top now it doesn't necessarily have to be sparkly as you see this is just a very abstract um, vase guys however in order to make it a wow factor I did do some type of st some stems like some floral stems to make it pop soon as you walk in the room so soon as you walk into my office guys you will see this bookcase ladder and it is beautiful upon this abstract not abstract I'm sorry um my accent wall with my black panels so I use these floral stems and I retrieve these from Z Gallery as well, guys. Let me see if I have a price on them. Because I normally do not take my prices off, guys. So just one stem is $12.95. However, I feel that they were worth it. So I actually purchased three and I staged them within this base. Now I also have some white and gold canna leaves. Now, if you purchase them online from Z Gallery, guys, they will come as a set of three. If you go inside of the store, you have to purchase them individually. So with the gold, the well, all of the canna leaves are $8.95. So I went inside of the store and actually purchased these, guys. So I purchased one stem for $8.95 which was gold in, a, in another um, cantilever that is white 
for $8.95 as well. And I feel like they are very much wow factors that you can place inside of inside of just a, a regular vase that you think that will be great um, upon your upon your bookcase. Now, of course, I would have to fix it, but like I stated, so the vase came from Home Goods, and the floral stems along with the canna leaves came from Z Gallery. So as soon as you walk in, guys, you will see that the way that it's staged and the way that it's set up, and that will be your wow factor for um, your bookcase. Now, also, I feel like with a bookcase, um, depending on how that bookcase looks, you necessarily don't need a wow factor on each and every shelf because as long as you have one wow factor, you are great, especially with this type of bookcase. Since it's a ladder bookcase, you are not needing more than one wow factor, okay? So that's why everything else is subtle upon the last three shelves. So you have just a really cool candle. It's a pillar candle, guys. And I know I retrieved it from, I think, Kirkland's. Um, however, on the bottom, it does state that it was imported by Red Leaf Home. And they actually have a website as well. So it's www.redleafhome.com. They also have an Instagram, Red Leaf Home, as well, where you can go look at their candles. Now, I do love these type of pillow candles. And if one of my clients specifically state that they love candles, I will go look for a pillar candle instead of just a small candle or whatever the case may be because they also help stand out as well um, when it comes to wherever you want to place it. Now, I know the last time that I looked on redleafhome.com, they do have um, options where you can purchase one pillar candle or you can purchase a set of three. I always purchase a set of three because within the set of three, it comes in three different sizes, which gives off a very great feel um, later on down the line. Now, I have this white marble white marble chain and it's white and it's gold guys it got a little gold trim around the edge now it was a three <laughs> it was a three link chain however i dropped it and broke one of the chains off so it's now two chain link but i retrieved this from inspiremehome.com i will drop their link below as well guys now when inspire me home um, with Inspire Me Home Decor, I love them. I specifically go to their website for small goodies. Now, there might be things that you find on their website that you will love um, that's big. They have a lot of big um, decor as well, whether that's vases or ginger jars. They also have floral as well, guys, if you like floral. I just normally like to go and look myself for floral unless I've already seen it in person before. So a lot of times when I go look at floral, I'm going to Z Gallery, I'm going to Kirkland's, I'm going to um, Michael's. And sometimes you'll even see Flora inside of Ross and TJ Maxx and those type of stores. So that's very subtle. The second shelf is very subtle. Um, a pillar candle with a marble chain link. Um, now the third, now the third shelf is just strictly books, guys. And I will give you an up and close on each book. What is a bookcase without books? You know. So this book. Is from Joanna Gaines. I love her. I've always watched her and chill on HGTV. She was one of my first inspirations. And it's just a regular book, a homebody book. So it's a guide to creating spaces you never want to leave, which this is a space you never want to leave. Whether you want to stage your accent wall this way or another way, this is a space that you never want to leave because that, that, that accent wall is just, it's screaming out to everyone, okay? So this is just a regular book from Joanna Gaines called Homebody. And I thought it was pretty cool. I did purchase this from Amazon, guys. So the second book that we're going to look at, place that back, is a Coco Chanel book. So it is black, white, and gold. And it's just an illustrated world of fashion icon. I actually have not looked inside of the book guys but as you can see it's really pretty cool so i really just bought 
the book just for staging not to read so and that's what we do a lot as of right now within the decor world decor books are one of our main go-to's if we're looking to stage um a, a spot whether it is a bookshelf whether it is your um desk in your office or even a coffee table or also your kitchen island a decor book can go anywhere so this is just a coco chanel book that i also retrieved from amazon that i thought was pretty cool just based off of the color and then the last book that is staged on this um bookcase is an elements of style now this is one of this is almost one of every interior designers um decorators favorite books uh, elements of style and I, I think the reason why we love this book so much because it gives out you see the black and white it's just not a plain book so a lot of times when you hire an interior designer or even a decorator you're going to get decor books and majority of your decor books are going to be books that you will love and that you can stage anywhere like i just stated before so this is a pretty cool book like i stated a lot of times we do not get decor books to read them but just to stage them within your home or even your commercial property Property in order for it to give a great feel and it, for it to go with your color palette that you have. So the last shelf, guys, this is actually a DIY project. So this is actually a ballot box, guys. <laughs> this is actually a ballot box and it was wood it's a wooden box so it gave off a wooden feel but i necessarily didn't like it so i saw this at michael's i picked it up i did not necessarily know what i was going to do with this um with this box but i was like it could be a diy project so i that's exactly what i did so what i did guys is i used my favorite um spray paint which is the rust olim again i do not know if i'm saying olim correctly however i use a metallic silver now with their metallic silver you do have to do you do have to spray multiple coats in order for that color to stick that's the only thing that i do not like about the metallic silver however it did come out a little you know it did come out great and i really do love this it's one of my favorite diy projects so what i did is i painted the body i painted the body the full body i painted the body metallic silver and i probably did either like two or three coats in order to get it this um this silver and then i also used rusto limb metallic gold basically the same metallic gold that you see on this ladder bookcase and i used it to speckle i'm not sure if you guys can see but i did do a speckle around the full box just to give it another feel um even though it is a ballot box i didn't want to open it so like i stated with diy projects everyone di projects will not be the same so someone could have wanted to open this box and their diy project would have been a little bit different than mine but since i did not want to open the box that's why i put all of these stones all the way to the top now the stones were clear as well guys and i painted it i spray painted the, the metallic um gold as well so this was a diy project guys i'm very proud of it um so yes yeah, so now that you guys see each and every and i and i came out and let you guys know what each and every part of the shell it necessarily stands for like i stated to me your wow factor is always supposed to be at the top always i know that it's not looking the way that it started out guys but you saw the way it looked at first however um i love it like i stated everyone might not love the same thing i have clients that are very different some like a lot of gold some do not like a lot of gold it's you have to work with, with what your client want to work with. Um, that's speaking from an interior designer. Every client is not going to like the same thing. That's why when I do um, work with clients, I do give them different options. When I give them their questionnaire, I ask them a lot of questions. Like, what direction are you looking into? Do you want me to be just a little bit of a manager within this project? Or do you want me to stand back and watch you do everything however kind of give you a little bit of tips and tricks so i have different clients i have clients 
They want me to do everything. They don't care what I buy, what I purchase. I still show them, of course. However, they don't care what I buy. They, they trust me fully. And I'm not stating that all of my clients do not trust me, but I have different clients. So I do have the clients that do not care. Um, hey, they don't even necessarily even want to see um, the items, but I still show them. And then you have clients that say, oh, well, I might not like that. Do you think you can give me different options? Which I always do that as well. But like I stated, that's just a, an example of me having different clients. So just because I like the way this is staged, that might not be the way that you like for it to be staged. But that's just a little bit of tips um, for today with decorating and... Um, a bookcase and you might have another um, other bookcases that are more narrow some that that aren't necessarily a ladder but that was just my tip for today your wow factor should always be at the top because to me if your wow fa factor is at the top when someone comes in a room and they see that wow factor on your bookcase guess what they're going to do they're going to automatically come straight to the bookcase and they're going to look at the other things on their bookcase as well. So that wow factor is basically what's drawing them in. And then once that you once that once that letter draws them in, then they'll be able to see everything else that you place on their bookcase. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's segment of tips from DM Aesthetics Decor. Again, my name is Danny. If you love, 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 love what you saw today, go ahead and hit that subscribe now button below. Give me a thumbs up. Like I also stated, and I will always say, I am very open to opinions. So if you have opinions on what you feel like could have been done better or what you feel like um, or just even that, uh, even questions, place those in the comments and I will respond, guys. Also, I will place my website, which is www.dmaestheticsdecor.com in the comments as well. So you can take a look around at my website. Like I stated before, guys, I do not only, um, I do not only um, work for in-state clients, which I am in Texas. I also work with out-of-state clients. Whether that's me doing everything virtually or coming out there and looking at either your residential or your commercial property. So I'm going to put my website below as well. And like I stated, I hope you guys enjoyed the tips for today and you have a, and, and you have a great day. Thank you.